Hey guys, Boris Lasser from BK Forex. Welcome to our daily Forex technicals for 6.13.13. As always, trading foreign exchange or margin carries a high level risk of super pro investors. So I ask you to read this disclaimer very carefully, understand all the risks associated with trading on margin, and seek advice from an independent financial advisor um, if you have any doubts. So, Euro, more, more, more. Momentum on the Euro, I think that's really the key story right now because even as we start Asia trade, I'm going to bring the chart in here and give you a little bit of a. Um, more of a eagle's eye view. You can basically see we're taking out brand new highs, taking the 3350s, um, and the run through the 3350s today really opens up the, the full possibility that we could run um, towards the 34, 35 barrier right over here. We've kind of right over here cleared this key zone area. Now those of you who were trading this early probably had a lot of flutters because we took out the 33s and then we came right back down um, and came all the way down to basically right below um, 3250s before recovering uh, to close at the highs of the day. That was a relatively bullish candle as you can see here and that suggests that we may have further upside to go. Technically the breakout is carving out in a very classic fashion right now and so the next target for the longs is 34s and then of course the 34-35 corridor is going to be the next battle for the contingency. I do, um, you know, ultimately if you're looking at this chart you're probably saying well maybe 37 is, is in store on a longer term basis. Perhaps, but I don't think it's going to be a one-way trip to 37. There's going to be probably lots of back and forth on the fill side. But for now, obviously, uh, support levels and everything else gets bumped up as we, as, as we start running. So now 32, before we used to have the 31, 30s as the key supports. Now 32 becomes pretty much the key support, which was the, the breakout level. Uh, and to the top side, 34 is the next big challenge uh, as we go forward. Similar story also in cable. Cable definitely looking very, very well bid. And similarly here, just really touching and, and trying to push through the 57 handle. The 57 was a major, major support level that broke, which was the key shelf that kind of gave um, gave way towards this downward leg in the pound um, over the last month and a half. And now we're obviously bumping up uh, against former support, which is now a pretty serious ceiling. But if we can break through here, it really does open up the run towards the 58, 59s, and ultimately, ultimately, all the way out to the 160s uh, on cable. Again, I don't think it's going to be a one-way trip, but um, if we can just find a little bit more momentum here, it definitely looks very constructive in the near term for cable as well. Dollar yen found support back at 95, uh, but really just wobbling. I mean, this this 95 is hardly um, looks like a bastion of support as we stand here, and a break of 95 does open up the possibility. As, as we're trading um, to, to really open up a full unwind all the way out to the 92. So that's going to create a huge amount of panic amongst longer term yen shorts uh, or dollar yen logs who pretty much assume this is going to be a one way run all the way to up to 110 and suddenly find themselves uh, probably underwater. So I think a, you know 9450 somewhere around there could trigger pretty serious liquidations of longer term positions and could take us all the way out to 92s. So be watching that very carefully um, as a trade. And lastly, not least, but certainly most interesting, we've been talking about this for um, almost ad nauseum for the last few days. Look at that pop in the Aussie dollar. Yes, this candle finally did give us the uh, the hammer formation. It did give us an upside move, although the upside to the, you know does not look um, are nearly as uh, bullish as some of the other structures because we came off the highs. It's really when you want to close on the highs or close on the lows that gives you a much greater sense of confidence that there could be some continuation. Still, Aussie looks relatively good. 93 now is hardcore uh, defense and hardcore support. We may be chopping around over here as we consolidate. But for now, 93 is the uh, is a target to beat on the short side. That's the key support. And, of course, the upside is really about 96. So if you can take out 96s, it puts us in more constructive uh, reconstructed fashion and takes us back into the 96, 98 uh, zone from which we fell off a couple of weeks ago. So that's kind of looking relatively uh, relatively good. Last, I think I, I want to just take a look at the Kiwi that we had news on the Kiwi in terms of the RBNZ. Typically, uh, typically dovish commentary on the RBNZ, but again, nothing. And this is the key thing: um, the RBNZ did not do or say anything that that would materially damage the, uh, the Kiwi to the downside. And Kiwi is following the same protocol as the Aussie, where we had a big, big hammer. Um, sort of emotional bottom made a couple of days ago. And again, here, taking out the highs above 80, uh, 26s puts you in a much more bullish structure all the way up to the 81s. So that's kind of how the uh, night is shaping up. I wish you guys the best of luck and the best of trading for tomorrow. Um, and I'll see you then. This is Boris Lossberg with BK Forex over and out.